Hello Libra, how are you doing? Welcome into your weekly tarot reading from the 20th of September for the week of the 20th of September. I am going to start burning some herbs while I'm shuffling the cards so that I can cleanse the space of any of the readings that I have already done and at the same time I'm signaling to your spirit guides to please come in and guide the reading for us. I'm also going to ask your spirit guides to come in at near on the end of the reading and then they can... Um, guide us as well but also show us what they see from their perspective from the spiritual plane what they see with regards to your guys connection whatever this may be and they're going to give advice as well and they're going to give us an outcome to the situation right at the end of the reading i'm going to use another oracle deck so um also cleansing as usual so let's get this out if this is your reading you will know it is general if it's not check your rising sign how you deal with life and problems check your moon and your venus which has literally got to do with love so also reverse energies if you want to. So if you talk about your person or you, you can swap that around because of the general vibe. If you want to have more of like a true to your energy reading, um, usually that's our personal readings that are done. Um, if you want to have one, by the way, check my email. There is an email in the description box of this video. Otherwise, let's see Oof, what's going on. Got a new vitality energy, the Ace of Wands. Passionate new beginning, very fast. Two ones have come through here. Fire energy. They could be fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Okay. Um, very interesting. This person is coming in very quickly. This is very fast. Very fast. You just met this person. Or you're going to meet this person. Like that. Success and growth is the eight of wands. It's speed. Um, this is like a love at first sight energy that's coming through here. I've got to see what's going on with you. Wow, we got the Wheel of Fortune. Holy moly. And a little bit insecure. I feel like whoever this is, they're very bold. This person is very bold. They, just like that, they met you. And I've, I don't feel like this is somebody who said, let me get to know Libra. Um, I'm going to get to know them and see if I like them. No, this is a person who immediately let it to be known that they like you and that they're interested in you. I kind of feel like you kind of went, whoa, okay, and now what's going on? This person is immediately showing interest in me. They're immediately making it really clear what they what they want. They don't want to have, let's be best friends. No, they're like, I want to be in love with you. Full stop. I want to know you. You're being very, very cautious here. The choose your battles energy is seven of wands. Again, another one's energy. And um, it's you going, okay, okay, let me see how this goes. I hope I'm going to be okay. I sh can I handle this? Should I do this? What should I do? And at the same time, I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune being here, you're kind of like sitting there going, I'm just going to maybe trust how everything's going to unfold let me see maybe the universe has brought me this person and uh this is what's going on and i'm just going to go with it and see how things unfold with the wheel of fortune being there but i also as well with the wheel of fortune being there you're hoping for positivity as you are moving forward so let's get in here let's get into the tarot and see what the tarot has got to say we're going to look more deeper in their energy see deeper what's going on with them you're there, I told you. Very, very straightforward person. This person, this is why they're doing this. This is, the, if you haven't met this person, you'll know exactly when you meet them. Because um, there's the Queen of Swords here, so the Queen of Voices in the Muse Tarot. I always feel this about the Queen of Voices, male or female energy. I always feel they straight talkers. So when they think it, they say it. If they see something whatever they're thinking in their mind they will just out and blurt it out um they will be very very open energy they may even be a sagittarius here with all the fire sign that we saw um sagittarius is like that they they meet you they like you they're going to say oh i like you and not as a friend immediately they're not even going to beat around the bush about it they'll be straight immediately and this is also them planning or thinking about the future this is them thinking okay what's my next step or what do I do? It's like they meet you and they go, oh, wow, hello, Libra. I like this Libra, this year, or this person. I, I, I like everything about them. And they think, what should I do? And immediately their brain says, tell them. And they're like, hello, Libra, I like you. Immediately. That's, that's the Queen of Voices energy. Very straightforward. Page of inspiration. You guys may be chatting on the phone. 
Okay, that could give them also a lot of bravery. You know, when we start chatting on the phone, also it can be a younger energy, I'm just saying, it can be somebody younger. And you know, when somebody's a bit younger, they're pretty bold. Um, with a page of inspiration as well, this can be a lot of talking on the phone. It can be a lot of messaging, a lot of WhatsApping kind of vibe. You know what I mean? If you guys are using WhatsApp. So let's see. But know something. I love it when spirit guides goes a little bit deeper into people's energy. They actually, what they show, they're pretty insecure. Even though they don't show it. Could be a younger person, yeah. Because you know young people, they, they got that boom and they got that bold and they're just like, hey, and they're just like, yo, and they just do whatever they want to do. But actually deeper down, they can be pretty insecure, but they will never show it. I feel like that's what's going on here. Wow. Six of Wands has come up here. Mm. Holy moly, guys. Five of Cups. No, this is an age gap reading, guys. I can't deny what I'm looking at here. Yeah, nice of emotion. This is age gap. You're accepting this in. No, I'm picking it up everywhere. I'm just picking it up as I'm going deeper and deeper. It's like there's a difference in your ages here. Um, you've got more experience. This is a younger person. Remember, it can be reversed, the energies. It can be that you're the younger one. You have got history um, with the Five of Cups coming up here. You've been alone for a while as well. You may be a little bit lonely as well here with the Five of Cups. But now, you know what it is to be hurt. Not by them, but just the relationships in general. Oh, excuse me, guys. I literally got a hiccup in your reading. <laughs> um, with the Six of Wands being here as well, you're like, wow. Um, you might even be wondering if this person is a soulmate or something like that towards you. Um, the Six of Wands with the Five of Cups being next to it is also telling me, I feel like you've been alone for a little while and you've been doing your thing, but not just like being alone and, you know, sitting and eating donuts on the couch. No, I feel like you've been taking care of yourself. Not like me. You know, I'm alone and I sit and, sit and watch Netflix and eat popcorn. You know what I mean? But you like... You've been alone, but you've been working on yourself. But I'm working on myself too, reading, eating popcorn, you know. And I'm with the six of inspiration. It's just this energy of maybe you go to gym, maybe you take care of yourself. And at the same time, uh, you have been hurt in your past. You got this question mark here. This is a question mark that's coming up. I feel like this is question mark. Are they for real? <laughs> that's what I'm picking up on. It's almost like you're going, oh, this is, are they for real? What is this? Is this something serious or is it not? Because that's your Knight of Cups coming in there, but it's in the reverse position. You might be even not taking them seriously. Do you remember the fragile ego that lies underneath this person's energy, hey? Um, even though you have been hurt in your past, even though you're going, what is going on? That's why I could having this flow energy as well. You kind of like know when to allow things to just flow. And at other times, you also know when to fight for something and when not to. Because I feel like there's grown energy, a maturity that this person does not have. Um, but you're curious, you're wondering, is this for real? So spirit guides... What is going on? Is this for real? Should um, Libra trust this energy or should they just like go, you know, I'm just going to let this go. You know what I mean? Is this for real? What is going on? Show us the truth. We want to know. Six of Cups. They got emotion. They're younger than you as well. Six of Cups. This person is younger than you. They are younger than you. There's someone older. Look, there's someone older and someone younger. But they still... Got emotions for you. They're still feeling something towards you. There is emotion here. So they got vibes, okay? Your side, I'm so curious. You don't know. Moon card, Pisces is energy as well. You going, I don't know. I don't know, Deborah. I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. What um, Are they telling me the truth? Are, this, is, are they being for real? You're doubting, especially with you thinking they're talking about something serious here. They're saying you're the one. You're the one for me. I'm crazy about you. And you're going, are they playing or what? You know? So let's see what else comes up here. My goodness. Hierophant energy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Sometimes this can indicate a marriage. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I've got to give you the meaning of the card. It can indicate marriage. Um, it can indicate... Uh, there is definitely somebody here who is more... Uh, wiser but surprise surprise this is actually the kind of joint energy of the relationship this card and spirit guide is saying there could be things between you and this person 
I did say there's something here you feel there are to you. Okay, with the Six of Wands being here, it sometimes can be, especially with the Hierophant being right across it like this, there could be some deeper connection that you have with them that this is what's causing this to happen. And um, it can be anything. It can literally be that this person, you know them. I, I feel like you know them. Not that, oh, I know them. No, you know them on a soul level. Um, this can be like a soul family member that's coming in here that was from another lifetime even. Um, this can be an agreement that you made with them that the two of you will meet in this lifetime and there's going to be this big age gap and there's going to be a whole bunch of other stuff that's going to have to make you level up both of you on a spiritual level. This relationship has come in here to teach you guys something about life, about spirit, about understanding, about um, the unfolding of what love really is and what love actually looks like is not what we always think it to be you know we always think of the perfect couple you know the guy is a little bit older than the woman and um you know everything just looks like a photo you know what i mean but that's not how love is sometimes the guy is way older than the woman and sometimes the woman is way older than the guy and it's still love especially if there is some kind of spiritual connection between you and this person it's not going to notice all that. It's just going to be the connection will just keep pulling you together. So I want to see now for you guys. Let's get an outcome card here. This is very, very interesting. Okay? I love um, any kind of relationship that's different. Because I feel like we kind of like, we're looking at too much of the outside. And especially these days. Oh, what is going on on our planet Earth? Goodness gracious, spirit guides. Holy moly. I know the spirit guides sometimes when they see people going crazy on earth you know they're just going oh guys you work through this you know what i mean we have got to destroy the outside appearances and start looking at energy of human beings because what we are seeing and how we are judging people because of their their standing in life because of the color that they are because of the race that they are the culture that they carry everything it is not the raising of vibration. That is the complete lowest energy form because it is fear. And if you are vibrating on that lower energy form, you are attracting lower energy vibes into your world and, and, then, and then it makes you unhappy. And then instead of owning up to, you know, let me raise my vibration by releasing negativity, you end up getting hurt by the negativity that is occurring in your world, emotional instability, depression, sadness, all these things. And it makes you again look outside of you for the reason for your unhappiness instead of looking inside, past even what you look like. Sorry, Spirit just wanted to say that. It's needing to be heard. So looking into that, stepping into your power. You are strong beyond measure. There is definitely something going on here between you and them. You two coming together. Um, it's about learning about who you are. You learning who you are and they learning who they are. It's about this wisdom. This is the wisdom. This card is about power. This card is about spirituality. It's about understanding something on a deeper level. And your guys' connection can make people literally have to relook at their understanding about everything. Um, especially if this is a very big age gap. People will look and go, you guys are a couple? Really? And you guys are a couple and you guys can go the distance here. And that will teach people, wow, wow, um, how strong love really is beyond anything. And it can also teach you guys what the real understanding about love is and about how strong you can be with each other even though you are so unbelievably different wow thank you so much for coming into this reading if this is you please comment below i always find this very interesting um so uh if it is you comment below uh hit that thumbs up button if you do resonate with the video and uh subscribe as well hit the notification bell the video readings do come out twice a week um if you want to have a personal reading with me you can contact me my email is in this description box of the video you'll see right below in all the writing otherwise thank you so much wherever you are in the world i'm really
really I'm holding thumbs for you guys I I love this this is beautiful I'm holding thumbs for you I know that you guys are strong enough to be able to handle this kind of connection even though they may be younger than you but on a spiritual level both of you are equal in strength thank you so much for coming in sending my love bye